Hello there and welcome to yet another episode of Regular Beer Reviews, where regular doesn't refer to the beers being reviewed, but to the reviewer myself, I'm Jesse, and today I'm going to be reviewing a beer that I've never had before. This is, I believe, the first beer I've ever reviewed from Shock Top. It's getting into fall, so it's appropriate. It is their pumpkin wheat. Now, I've never had this beer. I have had several other Shock Tops, though. Um... Yeah, normally had if you've never had it, normally they have like an orange slice on the front, but this is a pumpkin. I thought it was kind of cool change of pace for them. But Shock Top is pretty much like uh, it's Shock Top is to Anheuser Busch what um, what Blue Moon is to Coors. So it's just a Belgian style beer that is brewed with citrus and other spices. So anyway, um, let's get into the numbers on this beer. Shock Top Pumpkin Wheat, and again, that's from Anheuser-Busch, um, St. Louis, Missouri. Beer Advocate gives them a 71, which is okay, and that's with 901 ratings. Uh, the Bros give it a 73, which is okay. Uh, Rate Beer gives it a 22 overall with a 26 for the style. It has an ABV of 5.2%, um, and it, the availability is fall. Uh, it's a pumpkin beer, so obviously it's just available in autumn. Um, the style is a pumpkin ale, and I'm not sure what the IBUs are on it, but given it's a pumpkin ale, I doubt they're really um, that important. Anyway, um, here's a quick descript, and this one is uh, from Beer Advocate. It says, Our pumpkin wheat seasonal offering combines the smooth taste of shock top with the flavors of fall. We start with a traditional Belgian style wheat and then brew with ripe pumpkins and a variety of autumnal spices including nutmeg, cinnamon, and cloves for a refreshingly smooth beer that fully captures the flavors of fall. So, um... Those are pretty traditional spices, you know, for a, a, a fall beer pumpkin beer. It says... Let's see, it says on the bottle here, Belgian-style wheat ale brewed with ripe pumpkin, citrus peel, nutmeg, cinnamon, and cloves. Um, and uh, pour down, or, uh, and it even gives instructions here, pour down side of glass until half inch is left in the bottle, swirl and pour remaining brew to properly blend spices and release the aroma and flavor. Enjoy. So that's like, that's what you would normally do with like a Saison or a farmhouse ale. You know, just a Belgian-style ale. Double, triple, any Belgian style beer like that where it's unfiltered and there's sediment or it's brewed with spices and they could settle. Anyway, uh, because this is brewed with spices, I'm going to use a snifter. I like to use this for beers that are brewed with spices. So um, let's go ahead and get this poured. Now, this pretty much, um, the cinnamon, cloves, and nutmeg sounds very traditional of a, um, a pumpkin beer. But... What sounds different to me is it because it's shock top. They uh, they brewed it with citrus peel. Now the citrus, I've you know, I'm not sure exactly how that's going to pair with the um, the pumpkin spices as they're called. Use them in pumpkin pie and cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves. I'm not sure how it's going to pair with that. So let's see how it's going to make this beer differ from other beers. You know, other pumpkin beers. So let's uh, go ahead and get an appearance on it. This is um, it's it's slightly opaque nice dark light amber slight copper red color um it has uh maybe a quarter finger head very light wispy bubbles um dissipating quickly just getting kind of frothy um you know very big bubbles though but but again moderate carbonation um not not a whole lot of bubble streaming up moderate carbonation but you know, it, it looks good. It looks nice. So let's go on ahead and get a nose on this. Oh, yeah. Pumpkin right up front. I can smell the spices. A um, little bit of cinnamon. The nutmeg is standing out. Definitely the cloves. Not, I'm picking up maybe a little bit of citrus, but there's definitely kind of some fruity esters there that it's almost like banana. Like banana, like how banana bread is. But I think most of that... Uh, especially as far as the breadiness goes, is just it's contributed to the malt, light uh, caramel toffee notes, um, very sweet, um, very indicative of fall. This beer um, with the spices and the not really picking up a lot of hops, but it smells sweet, smells good, smells like dessert in a glass. So let's go on ahead and jump into this one.
Oh, wow. That's good. I can definitely taste the citrus in there. It gives it... It's got a little more pop than, like, your average fall pumpkin beer. Um, like, it's a little brighter. Um, a little bit of a lighter mouthfeel. Very, you know, it's it's more carbonated on the on the mouthfeel than it is, you know, in the... I'd say moderately carbonated. As it is, moderately carbonated, but it, it tastes... It's very fizzy in my mouth. Um, but it's... Uh, the spices are definitely there. The maltiness is a little more mild compared to the spices than in the smell. The spices are up front in, in the aroma, but the maltiness is still there. And the flavor, though, the um, the maltiness is the maltiness isn't quite as prevalent, um, or a little more. Sorry. I mean, like the spices are milder. Like the first thing you smell is the spices, but the um, and the flavor, the maltiness, the spices are still up front, but the maltiness really takes hold. Shit, I don't know. I mean, it's other than that citrus. This really does it. It's just very indicative of a fall beer. I mean. It uh, there's nothing super special about it. I mean, it's 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 okay. I mean, it's put out by Anheuser Busch, so I mean, it's it's hard to expect anything different. But um, kind of a very simple. Um, I mean, it's it's pretty well balanced. But I mean, it's at the same time, it's it's not. There's nothing really special that stands out about it. It's kind of kind of common for the style. It's all right. Um, nothing I'm super impressed with. Um, I'd give uh, I'd give Shock Top uh, a six out of ten. That's like a D for me. Technically, it's it, it is passing. Like I wouldn't buy it again, even as a fall beer. Like I'd pick another pumpkin beer over this. This isn't super amazing. I mean, the, you know, the one different thing that it has going for it is that the citrus that it's brewed with definitely does create a little different different flavor but I mean it, it doesn't necessarily make it better it's just different um it's a little lighter than your average pumpkin beer would be um it, it smells a little sweeter than it tastes and again the um the spices really jump out in, in this in the aroma and then you kind of taste the malt but I mean you kind of smell the malt but then when you taste it it's the malt that's really big and then the, the spices um kind of take a back seat to the, to the malt. And again, the malt, cough, or um, caramel, a little toffee, nothing really too heavy, nothing too sweet, almost no hot presence on the um, the smell or the flavor. So just kind of a, it's, it's, it's an okay beer. I mean, nothing nothing to write home about, nothing amazing, but it's okay. I'd, uh, again, once, a, once again, I'd give Shock Top uh, Pumpkin Wheat a 6 out of 10. That's a D for me. Um, it's... Barely passing, uh, just okay. Nothing, nothing amazing. So if you see it, I would say don't even worry about picking it up. Um, I mean, again, I can't twist your arm. If you want to try it, try it. But my recommendation would be just don't, don't even bother. If you see another pumpkin beer that looks more interesting, pick it up. Because again, this it's not like this is from a craft brewery. This is Anheuser Busch we're talking about. So it's um, there's not a whole lot to be expected there, but. Yeah, it's, 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 it's okay. I mean, the experience is, is probably worth more than the beer, you know, but yeah. anyway, if, if, um, again, I mean, if you see it, don't even worry about picking it up. Again, six out of 10 for Shock Top, Pumpkin Wheat, um, Ale, Beer, whatever. Thanks for watching and keep watching again in the future for more reviews. Closed.